Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we design a chart in OTBI. So this is the expected sample we'll design now. So here, if you observe, we have a couple of columns, business unit name, legal entity, invoice amount, as well as payment terms. So we require four columns. So now we'll navigate to the Fusion instance, click on Create Analysis. We'll select Payable Invoice Real-Time. Payable invoices transaction real time. Click on save. AP invoice. AP invoice training chart demo. As we said, you there are three, there are four columns we require business unit name. Invoice amount, payment terms, and legal entity name. So these are four columns which you require. Click on save and we'd like to have prompt on the business unit name as well as payment terms. Click on the gear icon, filter, operator is prompted, select is prompted in the operator. Click on the gear icon on the payment terms, filter, is prompted, click on OK. Click on save. Click on the result, you should be able to see a table region by default. That's a standard functionality. But in the output, we don't want any table region. We require a chart. Now what we do is, click on this particular icon and click on new view. Select graph, bar, vertical. Graph bar, vertical. Okay, so now we just want payment terms and we can just exclude this one. And we'll try to include payment terms in the bar. We'll try to include payment terms in the bar. So what is happening? The chart is based on two columns, payment terms, as well as invoice amount on the top we have two filter criteria. okay so now just save it and now what we do is click on catalog click on open and let's see what it shows now so it is still showing it's still showing the table region so what as we know that by default as of now click on done so if you observe the list of views here there are three views by default, it will consider the view called table region. So select this one and click on remove from analysis and save it. And then the next task, what you have to do is select the graph, drag and drop on this view here on the component layout. Drag and drop this here. Okay. Click on save. Now refresh the chart now, refresh the analysis now. Okay, so we should be able to see the chart, but now the prompts are missing, right? So what you do is click on edit here. And so instead of excluded, drag and drop them to graph prompt. Okay. And as per our sample, we just require two prompts. One is business unit name and legal entity name, right? So you can select the other one also legal entity name. Now click on save and you can just try to reload here. And we should be able to see a graph based on the business unit name as well as legal entity name. So now we'll select as it is having only one particular view for a specific legal entity, right? So yeah, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Supreme business unit, yes one. Okay, so this is how we can have a simple chart 
in OTBI. Thank you.